obviously it's not ideal being uh, 14 for four in a one day game. Um, you know, when I came in, uh, me and Rich just had to get a partnership together and try and get the score to some sort of respectable total. Um, you obviously, you did that, um, nice half century. Uh, what was going through your mind? Because you looked pretty relaxed out there, despite the fact you'd seen a bunch of other guys in front of you get taken out for ducks. Yeah, I just tried to be as relaxed as possible and just tried to play my my own game whenever possible. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really tricky. It was really hard conditions to sort of start your innings yesterday. So, um, you yeah, know, I could take a lot of positives out of yesterday. Was there anything of the, the big stage nerves, do you think, for, for one or two of the guys? Uh, yeah, potentially. I mean, uh, for everyone in the, in the squad, it's probably the biggest game they've ever played in. Um, and obviously, it's getting streamed around the world and the added pressures and things like that. But um, yeah, it's quite glad that the game's almost gone now and uh, people know what to expect and uh, rest and recover here, train well and um, go against England next week. I mean, you were looking pretty bouncy out in the field, you were, you know, as you often are, obviously. Um, did you think at any point you had them? Because I think you probably gave them a bigger scare than many people expect. Yeah, I think they expected to get it one or two down. Um, so credit to the way we stuck at it in the field and the way we bowled to have them sort of seven down was probably a bit closer than what they would have liked. Um, but as I said, we can take a lot of positives out of yesterday. Uh, and what was the, the mood like in the changing room afterwards? Some, I suppose some slight disappointment that you didn't put on a better batting performance, but um, good for the bowlers and a good fielding performance on it. Yeah, obviously it's disappointing to, to lose uh, the first game. I mean, it's not the brand of cricket we've been playing. We've been playing a lot better, but um, no, as I said, you can take a lot of positives out um, and it's almost sort of respectable the score in the end, having them seven down and uh, probably take them a lot closer than what they expected. England, what are your thoughts as you, as you head towards the England game? Um, excited. Um, obviously, uh, they've been in a different team over the last sort of six months. Um, they're still one of the best sides in the world, in my opinion. You know, they've got some quality bowlers, some quality batters. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Apparently, it's, it's already sold out, so there should be a good, good crowd in. And um, yeah, excited. Are you expecting to be more of a home crowd atmosphere for you, given the, the links with Scotland and New Zealand? Yeah, I hope so. Um, yeah, I think there'll be a decent crowd in. You know, we got welcomed really well into Dunedin. There's a big uh, Scottish crowd in there, so hopefully uh, at Hagley Oval next week there'll be an even bigger crowd. Um, I, I just wonder, um, are there any particular of, of the England side that you know well? Uh, are there any particular on the side that you know have a weakness that you'd like to exploit? Um, I think everyone has their weaknesses and their strengths. Um, obviously, these guys are the best in the world and they've got more strengths and weaknesses let's say but um yeah I know a couple I know Chris Jordan quite well having played county cricket with him for the last two years um yeah and I've played uh, sort of junior age group stuff uh with a few of them as well um I'm not going to ask for a prediction but do you think Scotland can also run England close give them another scare because that would give you a huge amount of confidence going into what many would see as your perhaps your most winnable game against Afghanistan yeah I mean obviously to take these top top ten test nations as close as possible is the goal and if we can turn over any of them over the way it'd be brilliant. But um yeah, there's a lot to work on but it will give us a lot of confidence here, yeah, definitely.